Welcome back, Mother Munchers, to another episode of Married with Munchies and Movies. I'm Gabe. And I'm Rebecca. And this week, once again, we watch another romantic comedy. The Silver Linings Playbook. And to go on with that, we made these salted cod fritters appetizers. They're so good. Called bolinho de bacalhau. Yes. It's a traditional uh, Brazilian dish mm -hmm. uh, that incorporates uh, the codfish or bacalhau, if yes. you will. In any case, this is how we fucking made them. This week was Silver Linings Playbook, which in the grand scheme of things between, let's call my scale, the notebook to there's something about Mary, <laughs> closer to there's something about Mary. Yeah, for sure. This movie is not just a romantic movie, but it's also comedy and a drama. It kind of encompasses a lot of things, just not really much horror or action, I guess. No, no. <laughs> uh, Bradley Cooper is a bipolar crazy dude that lost his wife. Yes. And he meets another crazy bitch. Jennifer Lawrence. Yes, he meets her and they start accidentally kind of sort of inadvertently hanging out and dating. Yes. Well, she kind of not blackmails him, but like she's holding something. She bribes him. She's yeah. like, hey, I can like bypass this restraining order and yes. deliver a letter to your wife if you'll do something for me. Yes. Yes. So on that road they go and um, he goes from being I guess kind of like watching football with his dad to dancing on weekends. So. Yes, and like he's legit crazy. Like the beginning scene is his mom kind of breaking him out of his mental yep. psych facility. He's been in there for months or mm -hmm. something and then uh, against medical advice, it sounds like she like signed him out. Yep. She's like, long enough. He's gonna be he's crazy good. forever. Uh, Robert De Niro is his dad who's also an OCD weirdo. Yes, but... Uh, and not... he's running a booking business. Yes, there's a lot of gambling going on. Yep. And um, Robert De Niro's character is like undiagnosed in his mental illnesses though, so like, it's yeah. a different side of things than... They fight. The main character. The dad and, and um, Bradley Cooper. Robert yeah. De Niro and him, they fight. Like a legit fist fight too, and not just like... the shit out of a crazy dude. Yeah. Uh, which, I mean, kind of justified. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I, I know he was having an attack or whatever. I hope this never happens. But if our son wakes us up at three in the morning when he's like a fucking grown ass man crying about his fucking wedding video. Mm. 
I'm going to choke him out. If he's in our house when he's a grown ass man with a wedding video, then it's a whole different problem. That is an issue. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, no, uh, Bradley Cooper's character is honestly fucking awesome. Yeah. If I'm being like, he has no filter. He is very honest. He is. Uh, to the point that he is offensive, which I can relate to. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you are offensively honest. But uh, let's try these cod fritters that go with them. Yeah, they're, they look, look pretty delicious good. and they're just staring me down. We made two batches because like did. the batter allowed for a lot of them. And this is the good batch. There's half and the good, half. We saved a good batch for you guys. But uh, because we ran out of breading. So, but anyway, these look good. Cheers, motherfucker. Cheers. Let's get it down the gullet. Oh, fuck. Mm. They're good. They're so good. Very like potatoey and fishy. Well, mm. considering it's fish and potatoes, yeah. But it like, really blew my mind in the recipe that like potatoes were part of the filling. It was, like it's most the, of the filling, mixed yeah. the potatoes with the fish, and I was like, the fuck, I've never made a recipe like that, but it works so well. Once you like mix it all up and then bread it and deep fry it, yeah. it works so well. You don't want them too too crispy or too like hard shelled, if you will, if you're mm -hmm. frying it. Oh yeah, hot sauce definitely makes these. 10 or 20 times better, and I think you just ran out of hot sauce. Mm -mm. Oh, I saw I a square there. The <laughs> nice. But uh, no, it's a Valentine's like I said, this is a, a pretty traditional, normal dish. Mm -hmm. uh, in Brazil, uh, again, hot sauce or like lemon juice will go great on these. Mm -hmm. um, they would be great as finger food if you want to make a large batch of it mm -hmm. uh, for you know get togethers or whatever the case may be that's exactly what i was gonna say it's a very good like appetizer type food because everybody can just kind of grab one and take a couple bites or munch on it dip mm -hmm. it whatever it's so good though yeah um the one thing that i will say be ready for your house to kind of fucking <laughs> stink like fish <laughs> yes. cod is a very stinky fucking fish mm-hmm and some friends may ask, do you have a hooker that you're hiding in here? Especially since the recipe, like, just like the fish water, that, like, it takes a couple of days. Like, you have to soak that salted cod You desalt it a little bit. And right. we've tried to make it with fresh cod in the past. It's just not as good. Right. That's but what it comes down to. While you're soaking the cod, like, it's going to make your fridge stink. So if you have, like, an outdoor fridge or a garage fridge or it's just, like, freezing outside, like, <laughs> yeah, if you can get it not in the main desalt room. Desalted there. <laughs> um, and then you're, I mean, again, you're working with a very pungent smelling fish to mm -hmm. generally, mm. you know, your house is going to stink like you were cooking for but sure. It's totally worth it. It's so good. Yeah. It's um, very fluffy on the inside. Very airy. Like it's mm -hmm. not a dense, when I think potatoes, I think like a very dense meal. Yeah. But I stand but corrected. But when you bend, blend it all together, it just doesn't. So for overall ratings for the, uh, what should we start with first? The food. Let's start with the food. Okay. For the food, I'm going to give it like a, mm, I, I want to say a nine. You were originally going to say a nine? Because I couldn't decide what I was going to do. I really want to say, okay. I don't know. They're really, really, really good. I love them. I could eat a whole meal out of them. Yes. Overall, like it wasn't that difficult to make. No, time it's consuming, not. Time-consuming, yes, time because consuming. you have to like soak it overnight. There are steps. But other than that, like you mix everything, you coat it, and then you deep fry it. So yeah. it's not terribly difficult to make. It turns out delicious even if you like i don't know it's it just turns out good yeah and it's again simple recipes are mm -hmm. generally the ones that you, you kind of want to make over and over again right and like, um i would make this for any fight night or depending i guess some people will eat plenty of fish but i i think there's a lot of people that don't eat fish mm -hmm. and when they think fish they think like tuna sandwich like fuck your tuna sandwich right make this there, there, there are better dishes you can make with like seafood mm -hmm. but no my rating uh as always i mean for this we didn't change anything we didn't go out of our way for like right americanizing anything if you will but we also didn't have to uh their ingredients were pretty universal if you will i will say it took me a minute to find the salted cod yeah like it, i also had to, like, that wasn't just like any ever any other any regular grocery store yeah and it came in like a little weird a box, box yeah uh but we found it in a, gro in, a gro in a local grocery store. It wasn't yes. anything fancy or like a um, specialty store. <laughs> True. I was just saying like but it wasn't like a for, food line or Walmart. For how good they turn out, yeah. how simple the recipe is, and the fact that you can gather the ingredients pretty easily. Like you're not going to be, oh, well, shit, I can't make this because I can't find this. Or, oh, it asked for this specialized thing and I don't have a Brazilian market by my house. You can also very easily multiply the recipe too. 
Yeah, yeah. Oh, for sure. We did not go like we made a regular ass recipe, and it gave mm -hmm. us a fairly large batch. Yeah. For me, Good I think this having... is a nine. Yeah. The recipe, I think, is is a nine. I for think me. so too. Um, I really think so too, because like, I don't know. It, it just it turned out really well. It was. I think now, because I made these before, mm -hmm. it was your first time making it. But I yes. feel like now, you would on your own mm -hmm. go out and make this again. Oh, so yeah. like that's always kind of a sign that I that I hold <laughs> as to like, okay, this is a good one. Yeah, that's true. Like, Not she'll make it by herself go. again, and we're good. Mm -hmm. uh, Silver Linings Playbook, <laughs> though. Uh, I would also give that a nine. I think. Brad and uh, Jenny. I would also give that a nine, I think, because overall, like, it was a good movie. Like, it was, yeah. it had the romantic aspect of it, but also it had the comedy and it had the, like, Listen, drama man. and it was a little bit of everything. It, it did have, I, I don't believe I was the target audience for the movie. <laughs> no, you were not. But with that being said, what you were saying that it has something for everyone kind of like I enjoy the fact that Bradley Cooper was just literally talking shit to everyone yes and like <laughs> kind of like with a calm look on his face and like yeah. not phased by it at all just like oh no you're fat and then people would get mad he's like no but like I saw you eating 17 pounds of candy <laughs> yeah just don't he, lie he about it be, very, be honest very blunt and he would and call honest. people out he's like no you be honest I'm yes. being honest you're yes. just being a prick Yes, so, uh, that was nice. That was funny. And a lot of the interactions, uh, what's his name from um, Rush Hour? Chris Tucker. Yeah, Chris Tucker. Was in it as well. Shows um, up. He has all sorts. He's the, what is it, the jailhouse lawyer or whatever mm -hmm. they call him, the mental house lawyer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, he also has a pretty funny cameo. Uh, he does. The interactions between the dad and the his friend that he bets against. Yes, the Cowboys the fan. Yeah, yeah. The parlay That's they make funny. with the cowboys. That was good. Um, there's a lot of times that like I wanted him to go into like Jack Burns from uh, Meet the Parents yeah. as opposed to like <laughs> the, whatever his name was. And yes. it's like, hey, you gotta catch those fucker. But but that never yes. happened. Uh but it was a similar character to to Jack yeah. Burns. Yeah, for me, I think eight and a half or nine. Okay. I'll, I'll do an eight seven. How about that? Eight seven. That's a good happy medium. Yeah. I'll take that. So overall, I'd say a pretty successful date this time yes. around. I don't think we dated, we we graded the dates for the past couple episodes, but I'd say the date overall was like a, a, a eight nine about or eight, eight, point, eight about eight point eight five. There you go. Be <laughs> yeah, I, that's I our happy we, medium. We got to stay married for another week and film another one, so we're doing good. Yeah. One more week. <laughs> One more week, fuckers. Anyway, uh, let's continue on enjoying your February. I hope you guys are doing pretty good. And we'll see you, Mother Munchers, next week. See you guys next week. See you later, fuckers.